more snow. Uh, tonight we've got some fog and tomorrow there'll be some fog around at least in the morning, but otherwise not that bad. We'll go five for Ranby Factor for the day on Tuesday. Call it tolerable for being working outside. There is Old Mill. Where? Where is it? Yeah, there's some fog here on the TD Ameritrade camera looking down toward the West Dodge Expressway. Current temperature 32. It's been there all evening. That's our high of the day. A little southeast breeze, 7 miles an hour. Holding around 30 in western Iowa, low 30s in eastern Nebraska. Norfolk was up in the 40s today, dropped back now to 28. We had a high of 32 and a low temperature of 28 and no precipitation officially, although there's a little bit of moisture in the air right now. And that may be some freezing fog, which if the breeze keeps up, potentially could ice up your windshield if your car is sitting out. Something to think about a little extra time tomorrow morning. But no precipitation showing up on the radar. All right, the low clouds never cleared out of Omaha. A little disturbance came down from the north. And north of us, the breeze has picked up. We're watching this system in Southern California, Nevada, heading out into Arizona. It's going to weaken, move across the Rockies and then across the Midwest here on Wednesday night and Thursday. Maybe a little bit of patchy freezing drizzle and light snow. This is the European computer model right there. It's got a few tenths of an inch. Now I want to show you this, but don't put a whole lot of stock in the exact numbers. That's the forecast for snowfall Friday night into Saturday and done by 10 a.m. Saturday. Here's the GFS computer model. It's the American longer range computer model. It has that hint of light precipitation Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Look at the difference. It's got us with two and a half here. Heavier snow northeast and south of us. So computer models hopefully will come into better agreement as we head into the end of the week here. But it does appear that it's going to get windy and very cold for sure. And the question is how much snow? Again, tomorrow morning potentially some freezing fog. Partial sun in the afternoon, temperatures climbing above freezing into the 30s. So the clouds around right now and tomorrow morning with some fog. Hopefully, and uh, computer models hint at this, that we'll get some breaks in the clouds in the afternoon. Tomorrow night, chillier air drops down from the north. That will also chase out some of the low clouds that are over the area. Uh, and Wednesday, partial sun, but then clouds return late in the day Wednesday. Along with this, a little bit of flurries and freezing drizzle coming through Wednesday night. 28 the low tonight, cloudy, chilly fog and some freezing fog. Tomorrow morning, still some fog and clouds and still around 28 degrees, then 31 midday and then with some breaks, fingers crossed here. Hopefully we'll uh, get to up above freezing into 38 degrees for a high temperature. 30 on Wednesday, precipitation chances mainly in the overnight period Wednesday night, very early Thursday morning. Again, maybe a little uh, tiny dusting of snow or some freezing drizzle and then the big deal. Impact weather Friday, Saturday, that may have to be